pretty good clip. Probably eight to 15 miles an hour gust. First pitch misses inside for ball one to Luke Anderson. We got here for batting practice. The flags were doing nothing. Yeah. And it was hot. Utah native sophomore will step back in downstairs and it's 2 and 0. Oh. OBJ working out of the stretch been doing that the last couple of starts. Good fastball there good tilt to it swung through it for strike one as long as you keep that angle right there the, the velocity doesn't matter for, for LBJ it, it's keeping the ball down not throwing it in the middle of the plate downstairs and it's three and one to Anderson saw the numbers 320 coming in three homers he's driven in 15 as Anderson he'll run a little bit also three for four on the base pass the three one inside ball four so a leadoff walk for the Cougars of BYU. They fell behind 2-0. Threw a fastball by him and came back with a slider to go to 3-1. I mean, now you put yourself where you have to throw strikes and pretty much have to throw fastballs. Crew Robinson will step in, second baseman from the left side. Talking to Coach Pratt, he talked about this guy's an awful good player, has had struggles. It's a guy that uh, they'd like to get going offensively. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it back. Much better hitter than 196. Another senior veteran player, state of Utah. Break the ball downstairs. Nice job by Galvan. Not let it get away. Robinson with four homers on the year of his 18 hits. Longhorns unusual formation and double plate situation. Off of the fist back out of play. If there's a ground ball Greg. To. The right of Jalen Flores who's going to cover second. Now D. Kennedy playing deep behind the arc trying to stay in the shade out there keeping. The sun out of his eyes, but yeah, you're right. Nobody you have to throw it to first. The one two. Throw over. Anderson had made a move like he was going. As I said earlier, he's three for four in stolen bases on the season. Was trying to get LBJ off balance there. Breaking ball got him for the strikeout. Again, sometimes you can hang them enough. That one backed up on LBJ. See it right there. Almost looked like it had a changeup effect, but maybe the slider that is backed up on LBJ. Easton Jones will step in. Seven homers on the year. Pitch in there for a strike. Right handed hitter. Step back in. Throw over. Anderson back in safely. 6 3, 205 pounder. Senior. Actually, a sophomore is Jones. American Fork High School, in Utah. Swing and a miss, and it's quickly 0 2. Jones out in front of that breaking ball. Johnson set, works quickly, lays off of that slider. And it's one and two. Well, a few sliders here in the first inning is LBJ. The one two. Throw over. Anderson back in safely.
Johnson comes set. Downstairs. Lays off from 0 2 to 2 2 now. I've got to hit 0 2. He's been real tough to hitters with two strikes this year. Just 172 average off of LBJ. Foul back. Count evens at 2 and 2. Set to go again. 15th pitch of the inning from Johnson. Anderson's done a nice job of getting a big lead, a smaller lead, drawing some throw, and taking the attention fourth time. Good. LeBaron Johnson has thrown to first base. There goes the runner. Downstairs with a break of ball into second with his fourth stolen base of the year is Luke Anderson. No times when you hold the ball for effect to get the, the runner to stop. But right there, Anderson never even stopped. He just got a, a walking lead. LBJ picked his leg up. He was gone. Ball in the dirt and got one. Luckily, kept it in front of him and kept Anderson in second. The 3 2. This is outside. Second walk of the frame. And the Cougars at BYU with something working here. The top of the first. Got 0 2 to 4 2 right there. Good at bat. I mean, when you get 0 2 on you as a hitter, you take it all the way and draw a walk. Fouling off pitch, having a good at bat. Ruder steps in. Colin. Sophomore. Olive Branch, Mississippi. 6'3, 220 pound. Catcher for the Cougars. Fouls back in a good swing. Count evens at one and one. Ruder has reached base safely in 18 consecutive games as he comes to the plate here. They're putting good swings on the fastball. I mean, it's, it's a predictable count. 1 0, 2. I mean, well, you work to get those counts as a hitter, right. Greg. I mean, right. I, it, it. the 1 1. Off of the fist, humpback liner into left field. And bobbled by Brown, the throw to third. Not in time. So runners at first and third, and a run across. Ball jam. Ruder. Just a little mishandling of the baseball right there. And they could not get the runner going to third. So runners here at the corners with one out and one in for the Cougars. Say it's just a single right now. I would think there may have at some point be E7 involved in that. But we'll see what happens. Ball in the dirt. Knocked down. Loy is steps in. I guess the question would be if Jones had stopped at second base and then took off. Hawaii native from Maui. Puts in there for a strike and the count evens. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right, but I felt like Jones was stopping at yeah. second base. I mean, there's no reason for him to go where Porter Brown was handled that ball in left field. 1-1 one, one here. Downstairs in the dirt throw to second base is offline and they had him at the ball's own line because Ruder was stopping was going to go back to first. I think they had him because he was going to try to set up the runner from third going home right there trying to get a throw in a rundown. You see the throw from Galvan up the shortstop side and you look at Ruder. He stopped before he got there. Goes as a wild pitch. Infield back for Texas. Outside corner, great location there. And the count evens at two and two. Boy, you 
He's a strikeout guy. This is when you need a strikeout. Downstairs and the count goes full. Big pitch here early in this game, Zeke. 25th pitch for LBJ. Oh, hit well to left with some carry. Porter Brown is there, puts it away, but tagging is Jones, and he will score, and it's 2 0 Cougars. Just off the barrel was that ball. Stay in the park deep enough to score the run. Two here for BYU. Hertzman will step in. Sacrifice fly if you're scoring at home. F7. Two runs on one hit here. Still runner in scoring position for BYU. First pitch in there for a strike. Hertzman, four homers. Utah Navy, sophomore. Strong 6'4, 200 pounder right, plays in right field. Swing and a miss, and it's quickly 0 2. That's a good one. The, a lot of them this inning, LBJ's been throwing too too far in the in the dirt. Doesn't look like a strike. That one looked more like a strike. Got the swing and miss. Got away with that one. Another one over the plate right there. Laborious inning, 29th pitch of the frame for LBJ. Just missed the outside corner, at least to Michael Banks. Now the 3,000 or so that are here, Longhorn fans thought it was a strike. Oh, pretty close, I think. The one, two. Stairs. Now 30 pitches in the inning. 15 in the zone, 15 out of the zone. It's a lot of pitches. LBJ in one inning plus last week through 43. Two, two fouled away. Competitive at bats. You know, they're, they're taking them to deep counts. Seventh pitch of this at bat coming. The more pitches you see, you're going to be able to foul pitches off and laying off some tough ones this way. Hertzman steps back in. The 2 2 again. This is back up the middle. Flores has it, bobbles it, can't come up with it. The throw back to third. Not in time. And so, two defensive miscues. That's the first. Charged arrow. We'll put runners. We see the ball hits the mound right here, right there, and then takes a funny spin again. Right off the turf. Just stays down on Jalen, not able to glove it. And back to third. Nice job by Forrest to be aware. First baseman from the left side. Ball inside. Not far enough to advance for Reuter. But a nice job by Galvan to keep that ball from not costing a run. They're working hard back there tonight in the first inning is Galvan. Best steps in, hitting 217. Four homers. He's driven in nine. Throw over. Safely. Utah native, junior. First soccer steps back in. Sky to center. Playable. Gasparino gives away a few steps and puts it away, and that ends the inning. But not before. Cougars put it up in. He's been outstanding, riding an 11 game hit streak as he steps in here. 
in that leadoff spot. Longhorn leading hitter. First pitch in there for a strike. So 0 and 1. 91 miles an hour on that fastball to the sophomore from Walsahatchee. Change up misses outside. Shift and a big shift is on for Thomas. Pretty much the entire middle of the infield is open. Down and in. Thomas out in front now, two and one. Thomas Powell floors for Texas here. Bottom of the first. Herzman playing way off the line and right. Stairs. I guess some would say way off the line, but in reality, that's straight up. I learned from Buck Show Walter that straight up. He came out uh, when I was shagging one day. He came out and said, "Where do you think straight up is?" And I said, "Well, I guess where the dead spot in the grass, where, <laughs> where they always stand." And he goes, "No, it's you're even with second base." And I'm like, "This, that's way over there." And this ball into left field for the base hit extends his inning streak. Thomas continues to impress offensively. Didn't shift Jones over far enough. Good job right there. He doesn't try too much. I mean, he's, got, he's been hitting the home runs, been hitting the ball hard. But right there, you see no stride, just a little turn. Took it the other way. Powell will step in. Baton, senior from Robinson. Inside the Waco area. Longhorn third baseman. With the shift on in the infield again. Analytics everywhere now. Thomas nine for nine in the stolen base department. At first, Powell steps back in. 345 on the year, 41 hits. He's driven in 30. Throw over. Thomas back safely. Hit hard on the ground. Could be two to second for one. The relay to first in time. Four, six, three, and a beauty. That ball cannot be hit any harder than it was right there. And the defense set up perfectly for it. Had the shift a little bit. Crew Johnson played a Robinson, excuse me, played over a little bit. That ball hit right on the button. Quick turn and got the double play. So two balls hit right on the button. Two outs for Texas as. Forrest comes to the plate. He's been hot as a boot. Boot get hot in the summertime now. Pitch in there for a strike. He might have been hot in a couple pair then. I mean, you, you, as well as you he's start, been hitting the ball. Start working a cow or two in the summertime, and those boots get hot. Right field line, back out of play. Just like that, four is down 0 2. See the numbers. For four is. As he steps in here, down 0 2. Comes up empty on that fastball. He needs to establish the strike zone consistently. Yep. That's the one It's just the inconsistency like right there. I mean, that's that's be 97 downward angle at the knees. A beautiful pitch and then you're doing that and then all of a sudden you try to start picking. Back to back fastballs might be the first we've seen it. I like it. He, he got ahead of, of a few in the first but then just started trying to throw make them chase the ball out of the zone. Chipper Beck steps in. This ball fouled off. Beck. Utah native. Shortstop steps back in. Sophomore. Down stairs. One and two now.
just inside. It looked like he was going to ring him up right there. It didn't think the right so. hand came up. The count evens at two and two. On the ground, down the third baseline, just fouled. Nice job by Powell. Go ahead and make the play. And he did. The ball was called foul. Streaks of sunlight coming across the infield, going from left to right. 40th pitch of the game for Johnson coming. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Eighth pitch is back coming. They're making LBJ throw pitches. Johnson set. Stairs. Oh, two to three, two. That's how your pitch counts. Get up, forty-one now for LBJ. The payoff. Beck hits this ball well to left with some carry. This is going to get out of town. BYU with a three-nothing lead. That's what happens. You, you kind of put yourself in predictable counts. 3 2, yeah, probably going to see a fastball. Beck got it right there for his first home run of the season. 424 feet. Off of LeBaron. On the ninth pitch he saw in the at bat. Just great lift right there, too. Right at the end. And no doubter. Downstairs for ball one. 424. It's a painter. Center fielder. First of the year. For Beck. Downstairs and it's 2 and 0. Oh. The second week in a row, bullpen may have to start to get active early here for Texas. Someone's up, but with a jacket on, throwing air balls. No baseball in their hand. It's in there for a strike, and it's two and one. That catches the outer half. Count evens at two and two. Here steps back in. Did he hold on to it? Yes, he did for the strikeout. The first out of the inning and back to the top of the order. Second strikeout for Johnson. So Anderson will step in. He has walked, stole the base, and scored. Second K for LBJ. First pitch. This is inside for ball one. Yeah, must have been low. Still like that. Still like the angle it has around the plate. Pitch in there for a strike. Evens the count. Four for ten first pitch strikes for Johnson tonight. Foul back. One and two. Hits the bag down the left field line. Big turn. Brown gets it. Could be a play at second base to throw to second. Not in time. Sliding double for Luke Anderson. This ball hits the bag. It did. You can see Peyton. Going to die for it, hits the base. Stays in fair territory right there. Good speed from Anderson. Thinking double the entire way. Seventh double for Anderson this season. So Robinson will step in, strike out victim his first time up. Third hit of the night for the Cougars of BYU. Throw back to second. Close. 
And Anderson gets back in safely. He hadn't even got his sliding mitt on good yet when he got tried to get picked off. That's a ploy. He tried to get them as they're putting it on. Had him out in front for strike one. The 0 1. Foul back. Johnson now out in front. No balls and two strikes. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> Did he go? Didn't check. It's one and two. Good location with that breaking ball that time. Very good. A lot of times you'll get that swing over the top of it. Robbins is not biting. Foul back. Count remains one and two. Ballou and Gasparino and Kennedy all in the sunlight. Still having to use their glasses. 56 pitch of the ball game coming here in the second. Upstairs, and it's two and two. The two two. Gets a piece of it, keeps the at bat alive. There is action in the Texas bullpen. I believe it's east of Tumas. The 2 2 again. Fights it off. That's a tough pitch to fight off. Got it done. Keeps the at bat alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming. Pause the 2 2. Got him. Third strikeout. Second against Robinson. Right here. This is just fastball right above the belt. Tough to catch up with 96. Jones will step in, walked his first time up. Big power threat here. Seven homers on the year as he steps in. Walked and scored in the first. Swing and a miss. For strike one. This ball off the end of the bat, out to left. Coming on quickly is Brown. He's able to make the play and end the inning. But the Cougars. With a three nothing lead it will be four five six due for Texas here in the second as Max Ballou will step in. First pitch in there for a strike. Sophomore from Alito. 316 on the year. Has homered. 11 times. He's driven in 28. A third of Max Ballou's hits have left the ballpark. It's pretty impressive. The 1 1. This ball rifled into center. So a leadoff single. That's the way the second starts for Texas. Leadoff single in the first. And a 4 6 3 double play. Jack O'Dowd will come to the plate. Senior, Nashville, Tennessee. Vandy transfer will step in. On the left side. Shift on in the infield. Off speed pitch in there for a strike. Don't see many first pitch change ups very often. Trying to get a guy that's struggling average wise 
being aggressive early. Yeah. Trying to get him a swing and maybe get another double play. Hanson set. Long pause. Now delivers. Chopped on the ground. One play is to second. Get that out there. That's a nice play by Vest. It, because he easily could have said, ah, I'm just going to go to first, but he gets the lead out. I believe Max Blue thought he would do the same thing. Max goes in a second, doesn't slide. Not saying he'd have been safe, but went in without sliding. Good play down there by Cooper Vest to get that lead running. Will Gasparino will step in. Freshman from Los Angeles, Longhorn center fielder. Communication device must not be working because just now set to go and we're right at five seconds on the pitch clock. He does deliver in time. First pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. Back count evens. Gasparino, 26 hits, 24 RBIs. Great production. 268 overall. He has homered five times. The 1 1. Almost a pitch out. Kind of a cutter pitch out. It had a cut on it. Two and one to Gasparino. It's out from first. And Paul's not running. Pitch in there for a strike. And evens the count at two and two. Big breeze blowing out at the beginning of the game. Flag flags not just laid down now, so no breeze. Throws the fastball by him upstairs. Second strikeout for Hanson. Both strikeouts he's got in this game have been with that fastball above the letters. Swinging right through it. Rylan Galvan will step in. Sophomore from Sinton. Down in the coastal plains. Step in. Longhorn catcher. Downstairs. For ball one. Hanson's 1 0 delivery. Paints the outside corner. And evens the count at one and one. See the numbers on the year. Excellent for Galvan. Offensively, 351 as he steps in. That ball's upstairs. Five Ghanas in the Texas lineup have an OPS over 1,000. Now that's just impressive. It is. A lot of extra base hits on pace to hit over 100 home runs again. Throw over. O'Dowd back in safely. The 2 1. This is outside. And a hitter's count now, 3 and 1. Galvan, as we talked about, has power, can get you two quick ones right here. Hitter's count now, 3 and 1. He didn't get cheated. And it's a full count. Trying to catch up with that fastball from Hanson. Try it again. O'Dowd will be off with the pitch. Here he goes. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number three. 
for Hanson. We go to the third, 3-0 BYU. For LeBaron. Yeah, I'd like to have something have it quick. First pitch. Ruder, who's single to drive in a run, his first time up. That pitch misses for ball one. So Michael Banks is hearing it from the home crowd. Pitch misses as well, and it's 2 0. Oh. It's one thing as, a, as an umpire, you can't have, you can't have rabbit ears. This ball smoked to left with some carry. Get out of town. 4 0 BYU. They have scored in every frame. There's a laundry on that. The line drive. Second of the year. 2 0 count. Got a fastball. Turned on that one. 402 feet. And the first two pitches were close, but you can't dwell on it. That one trying to throw a strike. Just left it right there in a good swing. Roy will step in. Take the ball misses down and away. Sacrifice fly his first time up. Inside. 2 and 0. Oh. Hitters count again. Two in the first, one in the second, one in the third. Two homers in the game for BYU. Pitch catches the outside corner. And it's two and one. Tumas was warming up last inning. I imagine he's ready. He's back up with the ball, not throwing too much right now. Downstairs. Three and one now. Johnson set. Ball hit pretty well, right center. Fading over to center. Gasparino puts it away for the first out of the inning. Hertzman will come to the plate. Reached on an error as last time up. 4-4-0 four, four oh for BYU. No runs, two hits, one miscue for Texas. Bottom of the third inning. Game one of this three game set. Punts. Going to be a tough play. Johnson up with it. Throw to first. Not in time. Johnson got to it quickly. His throw sort of bounced. A nice pick on the other end, but the bounce took something off of the throw. And it hurt them. They just placed it perfectly. This ball almost comes to a stop. Before LBJ can get over there, got rid of it quick. Yeah, just had the bounce just in front of the ball in Thomas's glove. His vest step in, ball ripped by a diving Kennedy in the right field. Has to stop at second. So runners at first and second. With one out. As Vest swings at the first pitch he sees. Drives it into right field. Sixth hit of the night for the Cougars. To this inning, I've been hit really hard. Beck will step in. He homered his first time up. So first and second. Shortstop steps in. Laces it. Slider in there for a strike, and it's quickly 0 2. Johnson set. So two delivery. Strike three call. First call strike out of the night. Fourth strikeout for LBJ. Another pitch backs up right here. They're right there and stays right on the inside. Beck had to wait a second. Michael Banks 
that lefty lefty strikeout. Painter will step in. Center fielder. Struck out his first time up. First pitch in there for a strike. Squared the bunt. Pulled the bat back. Pitch caught the zone. Quickly it's 0-2. Johnson looking down, gets his sign, set to go. The 0-2 delivery. Downstairs. One and two. The end of the bat out to left. Coming on quickly as Brown sliding makes the catch. That ends the inning. Ball hit just a little harder. And Brown does a nice work. You make a good catch, you lead off as Porter Brown steps in. Senior from San Antonio. Longhorn left fielder. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Brown Kennedy Thomas due for Texas here. Change up. Outside corner. Evens the count. The 1 1. Outside. Hansen. Looks in his 2 1 delivery. Off of the fist, humpback liner just out of the reach of Beck. And a leadoff base runner. You know, something like that can get you going. Brown has struggled most of the year. Sometimes you just need a break. Yeah, I mean, got jammed. Ball gets in on him, but just enough to get out there for a base hit. Texas tried something right here. We had the leadoff base hit in each of the first three innings. Maybe put Porter in motion, maybe put the ball in play. Porter Brown has reached down 11 consecutive games safely. As D. Kennedy will step in, throw over. Brown back in safely. I think Hansen's thinking right along with you that you may see some motion, something to try to. Yeah. Create some activity. Infield straight away at double play depth in the infield. Throw again. Brown back in safely. Stairs. Freshman will step back in. Hanson's 1 0 delivery. In there for a strike. It's been in the stretch a lot after surrendering leadoff base runners twice. <laughs> Three, Three times. times. <laughs> Every inning. Hump backer to center. That's going to fall for a base hit as well. Brown cannot advance the third, but back to back base hits. It's not how hard you hit them, it's where you hit them. Perfect case, both of those to start the third inning. He took a good swing, got in on him a little. Perfect location. Texas is something going here now with two on and no outs in the third. Thomas singled, extend his hitting streak his first time up.
Thomas steps in here with nobody out. He has been outstanding in every department offensively this season and runners in scoring position as well. 444 on the year as he steps in. 420 overall right now. Switch misses outside. The ball won. 50 hits on the season. That's a big number. He's creeping up top 10 in the nation with those 50. Hitters count now. Hanson's 1 0 delivered. Ball hit on the ground right to first. This could be two. Go back to first. Is it in time? Yes, it is. They may review this. As Thomas thinks he beat it. And called out on the field. With the Just shift on, he had to wait a second. The fielder to get there. I think he just in front of it. What a good play down there by Cooper Best. Yeah, I think he's safe. Yeah. You go take an opportunity. Yeah. They over they review this. This will be overturned. As conversation now between Michael Banks and David Pierce. And it will be a challenge as David Pierce will use one of his challenges. And I, after seeing that, I, comes the call at first base. It's out at second, safe at first. Okay, they were looking at both of them. <laughs> the fans at first thought they were calling him out, but that was at second base. So first and third with one out now as Peyton Powell comes to the plate. He had a missile his first time up, but it went into a 4-6-3 double play. So Powell at third. Thomas at first, always a threat to run is Thomas. As Powell steps in, 0 for 1. Shift on in the infield for Powell. Even runners at first and third, huge hole on the left side of the infield. First pitch fastball inside corner first strike. You would think a lot of times that if you're going to play that kind of shift you're not going to throw the ball away. But. Peyton Powell and Jared Thomas both can keep their hands inside the ball very well and go the other way. Long pause the 0 1. It's a liner right at the shortstop could be a double play and it is. Nothing you can do about it, but hit it hard. Still no walks on the season. Nine strikeouts in the six and two thirds innings. First pitch breaking ball in there for a strike. Top of the order here in the fourth inning. The third time through the order for the Cougars of BYU, leading here four nothing. Breaking ball misses outside. The 1 1 upstairs. 2 and 1 to Anderson, who has doubled off the bag at third, walked, stole the base, and scored. This ball hammered down the left field line, stays fair, it's gone. Look at it. And it's a foul ball. It was way out of here. Just hooked foul. The distance at the top of the berm. Out there. You know, Texas pitching making mistakes and they're jumping all over them. That one just going foul. Breaking ball back to the wall. And the count goes full. Yeah. Throws a lot of a lot of sliders. I mean that's his pitch. And he can command it most of the time because you said no walks. Yeah. On the year. Still has no walks, but he does have a leadoff base runner. Third time Anderson's been on base in this game. Walk hit by pitch, a double. 
brings Robinson to the plate. Crew struck out twice, both against Johnson. These are veteran players. It's just been a struggle on the season so far. Upstairs for ball one. You see the numbers? The Cougar second baseman. Toll set. Way upstairs. Command issues. And it's 2 0. Oh. Four innings, all four batters to lead the innings off for BYU have reached base. So every leadoff hitter in the game has reached base. Both sides. Yeah. Pitch in there for a strike. Two and one now. Robinson steps back in. Tolls, two one delivery. Downstairs, and it's three and one. Easton Tumas was up earlier than. Heston Toll took his spot. Now Tumas back up in the bullpen for Texas. There goes the runner. Pitches outside, ball four. So runners at first and second with nobody out of here. First a hit batter, then a walk. First of the year by Toll. And Cougars have something working here in the fourth. Four nothing lead. We're going to go to Hacken right here. You got the lead power guy at the plate, Easton. Jones was seven on the season. David Pierce going to take a slow walk to the mound. I think he'll make a move. Easton Tumas will face Easton Jones. First pitch in there for a strike. The freshman. 92 pitches now. 91 pitches now for Texas pitching. 53 strikes. Not a good ratio. The 0 1 here. Breaking ball misses downstairs. Count evens at one and one. Jones has walked and scored and flied to left. His two plate appearances. He is a home run threat. Seven on the year. Downstairs. Hitters count now two and one. So Jones steps back in. The 2 1 from Tumas. Pitch catches the zone with a heater. Ball in on Easton Jones. You can see he's wanting to get extended. The 2 2. This ball ripped to left. They will hold the runner at third. And BYU has them loaded here with nobody out. First hit of the night for Easton Jones. Stay with that breaking ball. Hit it good in the left with no outs, though. Holding the runner up. Now bases loaded and nobody out. Ruder will step in. Colin. Homered his last time up. He's two for two in the game. A couple of ribbies. Big ribby opportunity here. Loaded. Swing and a miss with nobody out. This is what happened back in the third, Zeke. Got a hold of that one. Didn't get very high in the air. 404 feet. So low home. Longhorns at double play depth in the infield. They'll exchange the run for a double play ball. They're looking for outs. Four runs on seven hits. Reuter is three for four on the year with the bases loaded. See what happens here with a 1 1 count. Slider catches the outer half. And it's 1 and 2. So this set. The 1 2. Lays off that breaking ball and the count evens. It's a big moment right here. 
BYU can separate themselves right now in this game. Believe that. But I think you want a strikeout right here, but I think if, if you can get that double play, you'll take that as well. You'll take two for one right here. Slider misses outside, and the count goes full. I haven't said that tonight, have I? The count goes full. Fifth time. To Massette. Here comes the payoff. Inside corner, strike three call. Big pitch there for the strikeout. Fastball in. So try to hold up the appeal down to Clint Wheeler at first. Well, the barrel definitely went across. Oh, yeah. He got the appeal. Anyway, Michael Banks had rung him up. Aloy will step in. He has hit a sacrifice fly and fly to center. Double play now gets you out of the frame. Break the ball misses outside for ball one. Six homers on the year. He's driven in 22. The 1 0. In there for a strike, and the count evens. This is what Eloy would like to have another shot at. That one stayed up. Fortunately, for two of us, called a strike. 1 1. Back out the mound. Knocked off Kennedy. Still have a chance for two. Nice job, Easton Tumas. Comes in with the best. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Coming to the plate will be three, four, and five for Texas. Longhorns have had a leadoff base runner in every frame. But have not pushed a run across at this point. Flores will step in, strike out victim his first time up against Hansen. It's Hansen out for his fourth inning of work. Foul back for strike one. Beautiful sunset. Here in the capital city, the great state of Texas, is getting that time for a little twilight here in the ballpark. The 0 1 to right, playable. Hertzman over, puts it away for the first out of the inning. So, for the first time in the ballgame, the leadoff hitter for each team has been retired. So, one down, one down, excuse me, as Blue will come to the plate. Max. Single to center. It's first time up. Which misses outside for ball one. Lou steps back in. Change up misses outside. Hitters count now. Downstairs and it's three and zero. Oh. Taking all the way. A one or two run game. I just saw a green liner right there, but you need base runners chasing four here. Hanson's 3 1. Change up for a strike. And the count goes full. The payoff chopped on the ground. 
going to be a tough play. Can they get an out? Yes, they can. Nice job. 3-1 on the put out. It's best. Well, a, lot, a lot of people say, well, what's so tough about that? You practice it. You go over it called pitcher fielding practice. Well, pitcher has to get over there for one, and now he has to turn his back, find the bag with his foot, and catch the ball, and then get out of the way. It takes an athlete to do that. Darn right it does. I didn't do it very much. <laughs> That's why I was I was sort of throwing that in for one. Reason. I've never I've never proclaimed myself an athlete. <laughs> that left arm was athletic. I can tell you that. Uh, first pitch in the in there for a strike to Dowd. misses. And it's one and one. Chop foul. No doubt. Down on the count, one and two now. Nice. Hanson's gotten into a rhythm. He's established his changeup. Used his fastball. You know what? There was a breaking ball. We hadn't seen many breaking balls from him. He's had two big double plays in this game. Texas had first two on last inning and they got another double play so if they're hitting the ball hard they need to hit it soft the ones that are soft have been gone for base hits high hard one for the strikeout fourth of the game one two three goes Texas we go to the fifth erupted and that's that's been the difference in the game it is I mean it's, you have your you're on your heels defensively and Again, I mean, just you're human. You're out there saying, come on. We got to get ahead. We got to throw strikes. Try to root your teammates on. Man. Spun tries to bunt his way on the end, trying to push that ball that time up the first baseline. Tried to push that one. A fastball ran in on him. Yeah. So 0 and 1. To miss. Set is 0 1 delivery. Look out. And that's not what you want to try to do. And again, for the fifth consecutive inning, Cougars have their leadoff batter reach base. Second straight inning being hit by a pitch. First one in the fourth was a breaking ball. That right there, I think it was a fastball that got him right in the back. Cooper Vest will step in. He's one for two, singled his last time up. Fontenot was warming up for Texas. This ball misses outside. So 1 0 here. His best steps back in. He's got some power. Four homers on the year. This ball hit well into the gap in left center. Can anybody get there? They cannot. This is down and off the wall. It's going to be a double. Runners at second and third with nobody out for the Cougars. The fastball was down. Went down and got it. Nice looking swing right there. The fourth double for Cooper Vest. Just one hop in the wall again with no outs going to hold the runner down there at third infield will have to be drawn up here as Beck will step in chipper Beck Homer and the second struck out in the third so he steps in here infield has moved back now to normal depth outside for ball one BYU has had pressure in every inning. When you get the leadoff guy on every inning, it's going to put pressure on the pitcher. Chance to blow this thing open again. Good slider there, swing and a miss. Beck will step back in time. Is that a strike? 
Is that a warning? I, I didn't see anything change, but there was definitely a warning on stepping out of the box. Now back in, bunts through, and it's one and two on a breaking ball. So that was a safety squeeze because the runner was coming, he would have been out. But it, The one two way outside. Nice job by Galvan. Very nice job. Just throws the body out there. This this is like it's like driving in a run right there. See that's the same thing because it saved a run. Well, depends on what happens right here. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. Something happened right there. Could save two runs. Really big strikeout right there. Very confusing at bat right there for Chipper Beck. Very confusing. Second and third now with one out. Infield will be drawn up for Painter as he'll step in. And struck out. Fly to left. Infield drawn up for Texas. Left side back out of play. Ooh. Off the food truck, took a big old hop all the way out over the field and the parking lot. Hell damage. Yeah. The 0 1. Stays upstairs. Count evens at 1 and 1. Grant Fondo has sat down. Charlie Hurley has now been thrown for Texas in the pen. To Masset. Off of the fist, humpback liner. And they're going to try to send the second runner to the plate. The throw to the plate. Just off of the glove of Galvan. Two run score. Six nothing BYU. It's that infield drawn up. Just wasn't much you can do about that. And not much you can do if he's back. Might have a shot at getting this one. But just again, placed out there perfectly. A strong throw. All Galvan can try to do is scoop it, tag, but be able to come up with it. Two more here in the fifth for the Cougars. Painter down to second base on the throw there. So single, a couple of ribbies. Back to the top of the order. Anderson here in the fifth inning, his fourth plate appearance. To a set, the 0 1. Outside. Count evens. Anderson has walked, stole a base, and scored. Doubled. Was stranded. Hit by a pitch and stranded at third. So he's reached in every at bat. Misses that slider. And it's 1 and 2. You're telling yourself to lay off it. You know he's got a good one. You know, you know it's going to break late. Just can't do it. Right side. Thomas looking up. Just runs out of real estate. Is leaning into the stands. Max Blue did not know where that ball was. Again with, with the got twilight. To, got to help each other. You could tell Baloo didn't know where the no, ball was. He had his hands in the air like, uh, I don't know. I can't see it. So working quickly, the one two. Way outside. Count evens at two and two. Stairs. And the count goes full again. Said that a bunch tonight. 33rd pitch of the night for Tumas as he comes into the game. Inside corner, strike three call. A 
Tumas throws just enough sliders where you have them looking for that now, 3-2. You have them looking for it, and then the fastball stays right on the inside half. Kind of cut back a little bit. Get the cold strike. Chance to get out of it here. Two across in the inning already for the Cougars. As Robinson steps in. Struck out twice and walked. Outside corner for strike one. Inside corner, strike two. One away, one in, and hit 0 2. One thing my father taught me growing up never let him know you didn't hit your spot. That was where you were throwing. He was set outside. But that's where he, he was went throwing. in for a strike. He went in. Yeah, body language. You know, I wasn't trying to go in there, but it works. That says hitters can pick up on stuff like that. Plus, you frustrate yourself. I could have been looking away as a hitter, too. I never let you know that I was looking away. <laughs> did he go there? That hitting. He's going to be awarded first base because he did not go. So a hit batter, second of the inning. That's going to put runners at first and second as Easton Jones comes to the plate. Jones, home run threat. Seven on the year as he steps in here. He's walked and scored. Fly to left and single. So one for two on the night. Second time that Jones and Tumas have faced each other in the ball game. Tumas set. Long pause. Break a ball in there for a strike. So the count evens up at one and one. Two across in the inning. Six nothing BYU. Trying to break it open. Chop foul. The count goes to one and two. Slider just misses. Galvan thought it was a strike. Pretty good location for that one. Chance to see it right here. Ooh, get up that. He, he thought it was in there. Not the right person, though. Banks did not think it was a strike. The 2 2 now. With two on. Way outside. That ball gets away. Throw to third. Not in time. Wild pitch. As Painter advances. Robinson didn't read it as well, but he'll be off with the pitch here from first base. With 3 2 2 out. Jones steps back in. The payoff. This ball ripped down the left field line. Down into the corner, just hooked foul. So we'll do it again, 3 2. I like the idea. Keep it away from him. Use the big part of the field. I mean, that was close. That was like three or four feet. Just real narrow down the line. In left field and right field, that one just going foul. So we'll do it again. Painter will be in motion at first. Excuse me, that's Robinson will be in motion at first. Painter at third. This ball hit on the ground to third. Could do it. Cross the diamond. That ends the inning. But not before damage done by BYU. Four and a half in the books, halfway home. Six nothing, Cougars. The Texas dugout. 
visit with head coach David Pierce Skipper. One of the things that we talk about when we were together all the time is command of the strike zone, and that's cost LBJ a little bit here again tonight. Yeah, I mean, especially the first. I mean, the second and third, I thought he pounded the zone and threw the ball well. Uh, something in it, I don't know. And I mean, he was up to 97 and threw some good breaking balls and got hit pretty hard. Because offensively, you put some good swings just right at them. You just got to keep doing that, try to get back in this game. Exactly. I mean, it gets frustrating, but you just got to keep having good at bats. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Get you back to work. All right, appreciate it. We go to the bottom of the fifth. As Zeke's just talking about for Texas, they need to get something offensively. As Hansen has retired the last four in a row, as Gasparino will step in. Will was a strikeout victim his first time up. Baseball is a strange game. You can hit it hard four times and have four outs. You can uh, pro ball. You can break your bat four times in a row and go four for four. So you, you never know what's going to take place in this game. That's why you can't get frustrated. <laughs> can't can't get too high. Can't get too low. They say it evens out. I don't believe that. But <laughs> this ball ripped. Always seems left. to go the other way. Now, <laughs> I, every pitcher thought, well, I, you know, he didn't hit that ball well and it fell in. But he didn't talk about the time before when I hit a rocket at the shortstop. <laughs> you know, he caught it on the end of the bat. The, the seven Adam balls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a funny story about that. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Got him. That is the fifth strikeout for Hanson, who has not used his breaking ball much, but this is a good one right here. Snap this ball off. Yeah, you see Gasparino fooled him just trying to make contact, just trying to foul that pitch off. I was with the Astros pitching against Cincinnati. And I think I threw a shutout. And in the paper in after the game, Davey Johnson said, I wish I had a dime for every ball that we hit hard tonight right at him. This ball is hit not very hard into right field, but it counts as a base hit. Finish up. So he did. He said the exactly. Adam ball was got got I got wish, the red. I wish I had a dime for every ball that was hit right at him. I just sent him some dimes. You know what? I knew David John. He's the Aggie, yeah. right? I sent him a dollar with my autograph on it the next day. Look at there, <laughs> ten. <laughs> ten of them, Davey. He, he, uh, got, he got a chuckle out of it. Uh, Davey's a good guy, teammate of mine in Philadelphia. So, as Porter Brown steps in, pitch is in there for a strike. I guess I shouldn't have said I signed a dollar bill on national television. They like defacing. I don't think they're going to come after you. Just telling you, I don't think so. But well, maybe. I'm ready if they do. Okay. We'll cut that part out of the tape. Swing and a miss. And it's quickly 0-2 to Porter Brown. Hurley Hurley continues to throw for Texas in the bullpen. I don't think that means he's coming into the game. 0-2 to Porter Brown. Singled his first time up. Downstairs, ball gets away. Galvan advances to second in the wild pitch. And the Longhorns have a runner in scoring position here, at the bottom of the fifth. But that old saying, that's the reason that there's seven defenders behind a pitcher. Pitcher makes eight. One defender is lined up in foul territory, but he can still help you some. Chopped on the ground to first. Odd hop, but a nice play by Vest. Back up, take that odd hop. Steps on the bag. Moving up to third is Galvan. Now to bring Kennedy to the plate. Singled his first time up. Deep. Freshman from Fort Worth. Longhorn second baseman. Have an opportunity to get the Longhorns on the board here. Hanson set. This ball back up the middle, and Texas does get one back. As Kennedy, second hit of the night, RBI single to center. 
good job. First base hit in the ball game with two outs. This one driving in a run for Texas, their first of the game. So Kennedy with the RBI single. Back to the top of the order. JT one for two. Singled. It's a race done a double play and then reached on a fielder's choice and then eliminated on a line drive double play off the bat of Peyton Powell. He's been hitting the ball well. He could cut this lead in half with one swing. Upstairs for ball one. Bad throw back to the mound. Pitcher made a nice pick. Hanson did. He knows the shift zone. He knows no one's back there. That runner can advance. Got to get in front of that. That ball gets by him. Kennedy was ready, too. The 1 0 to Thomas. Ball misses outside. 2 0 now. To JT. So hitters count now coming. Upstairs. 3 and 0. Oh. Some stirring in the Cougar bullpen. 3 and 0 oh to Thomas. Powell waits on deck. Jim's ready to take his base. Yeah, he thought it was ball four. The two per hitter, I guess. That pitch misses outside. It is ball four. So a couple on now. As Texas trying to mount a two out rally. One across here. Pitch misses outside for ball one. Powell has hit two balls about as hard as you can hit him. He's hit into two double plays. Now he bats with two outs and two on. That's in there for a strike, and the count evens at one and one. Hanson set. Ball back up the middle. This is going to score Kennedy. And Texas has two here in the bottom of the fifth. I'll tell you, those two at the top of the order can keep the hands inside of baseball better than most. This ball in. Peyton Powell, professional hitter. Sees where the infield is shift again. I'm not hitting into a double play this time. That's what you're with two out. Keeps the hands in, drives it up the middle. Two in with two outs and two on for Texas. All of a sudden, Texas right back in this ball game with power coming to the plate. 11 on the year. For Flores as he steps in. Hanson set. First pitch. Chopped on the ground to third. Will cross the diamond. Did he get there? Yes, he did. He held on to the bag, and that ends the inning. Dangerous throw across the frame, but Texas in center field. So Farmer in center. Hurley on the mound. Ruder steps in. First pitch in there for a strike. Ruder, two for three on the night, including a homer. His second of the year. Couldn't tell if he called that a strike or a ball. Right hand arm, right arm came up. Looks like it went up. Scoreboard total says it's one and one. Two and one. The right arm comes up every time for Michael Banks. He's got it rest on the back of Galvan, and he kind of 
lean when he stands up. He takes it on. It looks like he's calling his strike. Is a strike, swing and a miss. Count evens at two and two. Two in the first by the Cougars, one in the second and the third on solo homers. Put a two spot up in the fifth. Texas finally got on the board in the bottom of the fifth with a two spot themselves. This ball ripped down the line. That's a fair ball down into the corner. Rooters had a big night, third hit of the night. He is a triple away from the cycle now. There's some good sinkers underneath the bat. Went to the breaking ball right here. Kept it right over the bag at third. Fourth double of the season for Ruben. Malloy will step in. Get into a 1 4 6 3 double play. Sacrifice fly and fly to left. So 0 for 2 with a ribby. As he steps in, he's got home run power. Slider in there for a strike. The DH. Kept their string of leadoff batters getting on base. Breaking ball misses. It's hard to defend. And that's the reason they've scored nearly every, in every frame except the fourth. And in the fourth, they had them loaded with nobody out. This ball chopped on the ground foul. It's one and two. I think Adam Law down there in third base coaching ball got to make some kind of effort, doesn't he? Well, play with his dad, right? Vance. Yeah, he did play with his dad. Vance Law. Grandfather Adam Law. Law. Some baseball family. Ball misses outside. Baseball family in the first base coach's box too. Tyler Kuball. Son of a teammate of mine, Scott Kuball, who's here tonight. Scotty's in the building. Downstairs. The count goes full. There's Tyler. So last year during the Arkansas regional, he was coaching with Arizona. Uh, hitting coach here, at BYU. Outside ball four. So two on here in the sixth for the Cougars. Hurley. I like a lot of the Longhorn pitchers it, struggling with fastball command. He had threw the fastball good to Colin Reuter and then decided to go to the slider. It kept it over the bag at third right there just could not find the zone. Hertzman has bunt single hit by a pitch and scored and reached on an error. So it's one for two. Texas anticipating bunt here. The corners are up. Thomas. At 65 feet from home plate. A lot of time going off here. To figure out what you're going to do defensively, what they're going to do offensively. Big moment in this game here in the sixth. Early set. Didn't show bunt. They had the wheel play on. That's the move you're, you're trying to get them to see if they're going to show bunt, like you said. Well, you're hoping it would work the first time. Early set. Does square. Bunts through it. Actually fouls it off for strike one. Richmond will step back in. Texas still anticipating bunt. Thomas comes down the line at first. This is outside. Count evens at one and one. 
It's a lot easier as a first baseman, folks, to come down that line with a right-handed hitter. Left-handed hitter's a little more <laughs> intense. Bunted to third. Should be an out at third. Throw to third is in time. As Thomas makes a nice play there to get the lead out. That's why he's playing in and charging on the bunt right there. Tough pitch. Let's see where the pitch was. It kind of ate him up right there. Bunted it firmly enough where JT could get the lead runner. So Vest will step in. He's two for three. Doubled his last time up. Breaking ball misses under the hands for ball one. See the numbers two for three with a run score. Pitch in there for a strike. Count evens at one and one. Cougars have had base runners all night long. Downstairs. It's two and one. They got to feel unfortunate that they only have that they only have six. They left nine on base tonight. There's base runners ever inning. Multiple base runners ever inning. Yeah. Off speed pitch catches the zone. Evens the count at two and two. Early set. The two two. The best. This ball hit pretty well. Farmer trying to get to it. He will not. This ball is back off of the wall. One run will score. And that's all on the play. But right off the base of the wall, best his second double of the night, third hit of the night. And it is 7 2 Cougars. I mean, he hit this ball really well. Went down and got it. And it just kept tailing away from Farmer in center. Base of the wall, the deepest part of the dish out there, left center. Sixth extra base hit tonight for Inf the Cougars. Infield will have to be drawn up here as Beck will step in. Shortstop, homered in the second, and struck out twice since then. Second and third, one out, infield drawn up. 7 2 Cougars. Pitches in there for a strike. Infield already playing in. <laughs> Tough to get that runner home from third without, you know, without the safety squeeze. <laughs> With the suicide, you can. Slider misses, and it's one and one. Chipper's last at bat attempted the squeeze, safety squeeze. Didn't yeah. get it done, and then ended up striking out in that at bat. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through it, and it's 1-2. and two. Beck steps back in. Hurley's 1-2. Held on. Foul tipped into the glove for the strikeout and a big one. I got one more for Hurley. Breaking ball. Since that home run in the second, Beck's gone down on strikes three in a row. Painter will step in. Second and third here with two outs. Single to drive in a couple his last time up. Downstairs for ball one.
Hurley set. The 1 0. Slider in there. Count evens. The 1 1 from Hurley. Downstairs. Hitters count now two and one. Just misses bottom of the zone and it's three and one. The three one. Foul back. How about a three one breaking ball there? Well, if you throw it three one, you should be able to throw it three two. I mean, if you think about not throwing it for a strike three one and walking it, might as well throw it again. Ninth full count of the evening for Texas pitch. The payoff. Inside corner strike three called and a big one. Back to back strikeouts to end the frame in the sixth. 7 2. He's done a nice job. Ballou will lead it off. Ballou singled his first time up, grounded to first. Fastball right at the bottom of the zone. And it's quickly 0 2 to Ballou. Hanson on the night, five strikeouts, six groundouts, two flyouts. This ball chopped on the ground. Shortstop playing over. Comes up with it, makes the play. And Beck. Right there. Back to back times. I mean, Texas has done a really good job of analytically of, of shifting a lot this year, but nobody has shifted as much as we've seen BYU tonight. The lefties. Righties, not so much. Lefties, yes. Right now, you got Kerr Robinson almost in right field. Well, you really have to work on it because if there's a topper, Really has to be best and has to come get it. So you got to cover first base as a pitcher. Down the left field line, O'Dowd. I want you to look also. When you put the shift on, yeah, you got the second baseman and right center, shortstop playing second base. Look where Cooper Vest is. He is right on the line. Talk, he's on the line. He's on the line at first. He's, he's playing on the line. right on the line. Pitch misses. That's no doubles right there. I mean. The 2-1 to O'Dowd. Change up. Good one. In there for a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. This ball hit well to right with some carry. Get out of town, Jack O'Dowd, third of the year. Got him out of bases. At a good pace as well, Jack O'Dowd. Happy for that one. Nine for 53 versus right handers before that at bat zone. Gets a fastball in and turns on it. Didn't even get extended, but barreled it up. So Farmer will step in. 
his first at bat of the of the night. Came in defensively for the Horns. Now in a 7-3 ball game here in the bottom of the sixth. Shot foul. For strike one. True freshman. Santa Monica, California. This ball ripped into left field. So Farmer with good speed at first base here. One for one on the night. Texas now with nine hits in the game. And Brent stuck with Hanson last inning. Let him get out of the inning. Go back out there again for this inning. No movement yet from the BYU dugout. Olsen was throwing earlier. That's a look. Olsen up again, and I would think that we can see a pitching change here. Break a ball in there for a strike. Good. 80, 89, 91. All the sliders to right handed hitters. Fastball slider mainly to righties. There's the fastball. It's quickly 0 2. Right hander set. Slider swing and a miss. They got Farmer out in front. He just gets back. Has almost caught him in no man's land out there. A big swing right there from Galvon. Almost a little too much secondary lead for Farmer able to get back. Kind of slipped on his way back. Made it really close. Porter Brown, one for two, will step in. Longhorn left fielder. Brown just out in front of it. First pitch changeup. It's still a pitch that guy has not seen your speed yet, and you throw him a changeup. I, I think that's a dangerous pitch. First pitch to a guy. It's 0 1. Comes right back with another. That's the secondary pitch. Fastball slider right. He's mostly fastball changeups to left. And he's had two changeups for strikes. Now way out in front. Set. About three in a row. This one misses outside. They try to trick him. Thinking I'm going to throw four in a row and try to get a fastball by him. Porter, Porter Brown likes fastball. See what happens. Cat and mouse game always going on between pitcher and hitter. Farmer from first. Slider. It's downstairs. We seldom use slider to lefty. Try to trick him. Two and two to Brown. D. Kennedy awaits on deck. One across in the inning. Jack O'Dowd solo homer. The two two. Outside. Farmer will be off with the pitch here. So from 0 2 to 3 2. We've seen that picture tonight. If you're going to throw the change up, it's got to be on the plate, around the plate. Fastball misses way inside, ball four. So a couple on here. As Kennedy will come to the plate. Two for two in the ball game as he strides to the plate. Texas crawling back in this thing. Boy, something in the gap right here. We got a ball game for the last third. At this point, I think just take just a base hit. Farmer speed it can score pretty much anywhere. Porter Brown, good speed at first as well. Slider in there for strike one. I think with 
Kuhn, you got you got to look the other way. He's throwing fastballs away and sliders away to right hand. Kennedy 318 with runners in scoring position on the year. Did he go? He did not. Count evens at one and one. The one one. Just gets a piece of it. One and two now to Kennedy. Thomas in the top of the order awaits on deck here. Boom set is one two. Way upstairs. And the count evens. The setup pitch. You don't want it that high up and in. That's dangerous. Set him up, get him off balance, go back to the slider away. I would look away from D. Kennedy. Here comes the 2 2. Just gets a piece of it, and that's exactly what he went back to. But he left that too much in the plate. He left it on the plate. So Kennedy steps back in. Play on the fastball. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming here with a 2 2 count. This ball ripped down the left field line. This is for extra bases. One run will score. Here comes Porter Brown to the plate. The relay to the plate, not in time. On his way to third is Kennedy. It's a 7-5 ball game. Seventh pitch of the bat to D. Kennedy. Gets the slider, but this one stays on the plate again. Stays right down there with it. In the corner, Farmer's gonna score easily. Porter Brown, look at the hustle. Always hustling on the bases. If he lets up any right there, he's going to be out. A good slide, a good heads up by Kennedy on the other end to make it to third base. Not many base runners. Good whip as he steps in to face the top of the order. Thomas as he steps in. Break a ball in there for a strike. Kennedy at third. 7 11 and 0 for BYU. Now 5 10 and 1 for Texas. Two in the fifth, and now three in the sixth. Get back in this ball game. Slider misses outside. Evens the count at one and one. Thomas, one for two in the ball game as he steps in here. Left is only eight for 36 off Olsen this season. Upstairs. Thomas ahead now. Two and one. Shift still on in the infield for the Cougars. Break the ball misses outside. Hitters count now three and one. Just talking to himself on the mound, ready to go is Olson. Psyching himself up for this 3 1 delivery. Slider misses outside, ball four. Solid at bat. So JT. Tying, tying, tying runs are on base. Go ahead, run at the plate. Slider swinging a miss for strike one. Got great speed on the bases. Pull off a little bit right there. Left hander is going to throw the sliders. Peyton Powell very good at going the other way. 
RBI single his last time up. Slider at the top of the zone, but called a strike and is quickly Oku. Olsen is still talking to himself. Well, let's go. He's the one that Coach Pratt says wants the ball every day. The 0 2. Got him with a breaker ball, ends the inning in the threat for Texas, but Texas does cut the lead again for the fifth time in the seventh inning. After the fifth foul. Is he, Anderson. D. Kennedy, three for three in the game, three RBIs. So Anderson will step in. He has walked, stole a base and scored, doubled. Hit by a pitch and struck out. One for two on the night with a double. He's down here, 0 2. Early set. Chop foul to play. We'll do it again, 0 2. Much different game than the top of the sixth when Texas was. You know, down at that point, 6 2, then 7 2 after the frame, but now with the three spot, Longhorns back in the ball game. We go to the last third. This ball ripped by a diving pal into left field. And for the seventh consecutive inning, Cougars have their leadoff batter reach base. Yeah. Another off speed pitch from Hurley. Got him to swing through. One earlier in that bat. This one catches too much play. Good effort by Powell down at third. Just off his glove in the left field. So Robinson 0 for 2 steps in. He has walked and been hit by a pitch. 0 for 2 as he steps in. Well, we see small ball here. Not bunning. First pitch catches his own for strike one. Robinson steps back in. Upstairs. One and one. Hurley comes set. Downstairs. With a breaking ball, and it's two and one. The Longhorns a double play depth in the infield. The two one delivery, swing and a miss. Robinson upsetting himself after swinging at that. It just took one. That same spot, expecting fastball right there, and didn't get it. So two and two now. Throw over. Anderson back safely. Downstairs. Do you send the runner here? Chance for strike him out, throw him out if you do. Pretty good speed down at first. I, I say you, you try it. Four out of five on the year is Anderson. Not a big lead. He likes to get walking lead. Going. Pitch is downstairs, ball four. Runners at first and second here with nobody out. Plantier and Gage Bain both warming in the Texas bullpen. Jones will step in. One for three on the night. Their leading power hitter.
Texas adjust, maybe thinking bunt. It's a big swing and a miss from Easton Jones for strike one. No surprise. JT was behind the runner at first and then came in way in. Now just going to play right behind and read the hands of the hitter. I wouldn't think you're leading home run here. You would have lay down a bunt. Off the end of the bat and quickly it's 0-2. Thirty hits on the year for Jones. Seven homers. He's driven in seventeen. But he's down here. No balls and two strikes. Downstairs. One and two. Early sets. The one two. Bounced it way out in front of the plate. Nice block by Galvan to keep the double play in order. Almost as Galvan just that's all he could do. Put the body up was about 56 feet in front of the plate. The two two. Ball chop foul. We'll do it again. So retrieve the ball in left field. 7 12 and 0 for BYU, 5 10 and 1 for Texas. The 2 2. Did that hitting? Did it hit the bat? It got time and it was the ball was caught, but it didn't hit the bat. Galvan thinks it hit the bat. Well, you see, it immediately, Easton Jones turned around to look for something. Like, did it hit me or did it hit the bat? Galvan thinks it hit the bat. Hard to tell right there. It's hard to tell what it, it was. Was it catcher's interference? No, the bat almost hit the glove. <laughs> I mean, it's in two strikes, nobody out. Runners at first and second. Easton Jones steps back in. The payoff. This is foul tipped. Back to the screen. Longhorn fans. Not happy. Here we go again, 3 2. Break a ball, outside corner, strike three call. Good location from Hurley. Slower breaking ball. It all came out in the wash right there. Hottest man in the lineup, though, coming to the play. Colin Reuter has had a big night. Singled, homered, struck out, and doubled. It's a triple from the cycle as he steps in here. Go to second. Anderson back in safely. Ruder steps in. First pitch in there for a strike from Hurley. He does have a triple this year. This year. Three for four tonight. Stairs. Count evens at one and one. Fiftieth pitch coming up for Hurley. Yeah. 
That pitch in there for a strike with the fastball. So one and two here. Uber has not swung the bat to this point. Early set. Slider misses outside. Count evens at two and two. The 2 2. Outside corner just missed. And the count goes full. The 3 2 again. Inside step move throws back to second. First and second, nobody out. 3 2. The Jones gets the strikeout. First and second with one out. Now 3 2 to Reuter. That's the 12th 3 2 count by Texas tonight. Ground ball back up the middle. Nice job by Flores. He gets an out at second. Nice play. Getting to that ball and getting an out to Kennedy at second base. They had to go to the ground. I don't know if he was going to be able to get out of the glove, but was able to right there. Very nice play to get one out right there. Get no out. That's a catastrophe. But good job by Jalen Flora. Got it out of his glove in a hurry. Lloyd will step in. Breaking ball way outside. Nice job by Galvan just to glove that. Save another run right there. Sacrifice fly. That's just hard to make that play. That was outside the left handed batter's box. So 1 and 0. Oh. Sacrifice fly. Hit into a double play. The ball rides up and in. Delay to second base. They're trying to get the run in the middle of a, of a countdown. They get the out. No chance to try to steal the. Yes. Mason Olson will toe the rubber here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch break the ball in there. First strike. Olson always talking to himself. A lot of movement. Ready to go. I had the opportunity to face Mark Fidrich up more than a one time. And Olson reminds me of this breaking ball in the outside corner. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I, I agree with Jay on this. This ball is outside, comes around, it never is on the plate. But Michael Banks calls it a strike for strike three. Olsen is a guy that's active around on the mound. Talking to himself, moving around, swinging a miss there. Just keeps moving. Lou tries to bunt his way on and out into the on deck circle to pinch hit. Jack O'Dowd, who homered his last time up, is Kimball Schusler. Junior from Lano. And the 0-2 to Ballou. Slider stays upstairs. But I think sometimes it, what I was going to get to the point is you can't watch a pitcher's antics. You got to look for his release point and pick up the baseball. This ball down the left field line. It's got some carry to it. Down into the corner. Off of the foul pole. That's a fair ball. Is that a homer? I think it hit the cushion right under the pole. 
They might take a look at it. It, it hit the cushion and came back. Could have hit the foul pole. If it hit the foul pole, it might bounce back a little further. But this is right off the top. I think it hits the, the, the bar of the bottom of the foul pole. I think this is a home run. Ooh, it does hit the cushion. Nice. It does hit that cushion and comes back in play. It does not leave the ballpark. You think if it hits the pole, it's either going to go down or bounce further out than it did. Wow, that is close. Called the double on the field. About After seeing that replay, about as close as you can get. Yeah, it's being a homer or a foul ball, <laughs> both. Right off the cushion. Does accept the top part of the and the cushion. David Pierce wants to see the call here. It is a double. So it is confirmed. Schusler will be the, the pinch hitter here. We will have the pinch hitter. Schusler off a of left handed pitching this year has been outstanding. He is 12 for 25, hitting at a 480 clip as he steps in here with Ballou at second base. His second hit of the night. So tying run at the plate for Texas here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch, fastball in there for a strike. Crowd still upset with that call. Down the left field line. Break the ball downstairs by the naked eye. It looked like it hit the bottom, but after seeing the replay, it definitely hit the pad. I mean, three inches further. Oh, it's a homer. Yeah. One one swing and a miss on the slider. Eight him up inside. And it's one and two. Well, went from outside with your way inside. You can swing at a ball and get hit and it still be a strike. Yeah, it wasn't hit you. It's a dead ball. It's a piece of this one. One and two to Kimball. 11th hit of the night. 12 for the Cougars at BYU. Lead here 7 5. In the home half of the seventh. This ball. Humpback liner. Diving catch. Nice play by Beck. To get the out. He had to lay out on that humpback liner. Beck diving for it. Through Robinson looked like he might have had an easier shot at it. Right there, but after Beck called it, gotta let him have it. Dove and put it in the glove. Tommy Farmer will step in. His second plate appearance. He singled his last time up. So he steps in. First pitch fastball in there for a strike to the freshman from California. Three for ten on the year. Inside corner. And it's quickly 0-2. Wow. The 0 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. Got him, and that ends the inning. It's Duplantier. 
There's Pitts in there for a strike. Aloy was at plate when they tried the double steal. It didn't work in last inning. The 0 1. Breaking ball gets away from him, hits him. And for the eighth consecutive inning, the Cougars get their leadoff batter of the inning on base. Three of those have come by being hit by a pitch, one with a walk. So half the inning, three passes to lead off. Hertzman will step in. He is one for three as he steps in he's been hit by a pitch and score swing and a miss for strike one we haven't seen the Cougars employ the bunt they have bunted for a base hit but not bunted to sacrifice that ball nice pick by Galvan a spiked fastball that time That's just a nice, like a first baseman pick a ball over there. Slider downstairs, and it's two and one. The Plantier comes set. Outside corner, evens the count. 7 12 and 0 for the Cougars, 5 11 and 1 for the Longhorns. Off the end of the bat, but into right field. Cannot make a turn. Nice job by Farmer to cut that off and not allowing the runner to reach third, but first and second again. With nobody out for BYU. Texas still in this ball game because of one stat. Four for 20 are the Cougars and runners in score position in this game. That's that's the only way that they stay in this game is they just haven't gotten hits when they've had opportunity to push runs across. Lead off the fourth inning, hit by pitch and a walk. Two on, no out. Fifth inning, hit by pitch, double. Two on, no out. Swing and a miss for strike one. Sixth inning, double walk. Two on, nobody out. And now, seventh inning, single walk. Two on, nobody out. Plus five innings. Two on, nobody out. Best is three for four. He's had the big offensive night. And he rips this ball into right. He's got his four hit night. Hold the runners. Bases loaded here. Just like that in the top of the eighth for BYU. This stays back. Just out over the plate. A little bit of a leg kick, but right on time for that one. So Beck steps in. He homered his first time up. He has struck out the next three plate appearances here. Bases loaded, infield drawn to halfway here in the top of the eighth. First pitch, way outside for ball one. As Chipper Beck, first homer of the year, back in the second inning. Outside, and it's 2 0. Oh. 201 pitches now total for Texas pitching tonight. Turn and second one has to be a good location right here. And it was for a strike. So two and one to Beck as he steps back in. Right side, back out of play. Count evens at two and two.
Duplantier gets his sign, comes set. Swing and a miss, got him. Big strikeout for the first out of the inning. That's what he tried to go to with Aloy. Went to the curveball, got him in the back. Do a really good one right there. Really important pitch in this inning. Get the first out with the base of Logan. Painter will step in. 11 total strikeouts tonight by Texas pitching. Painter's he steps in. One for four with a couple of ribbies. First pitch inside corner for a strike. Texas pitch out of another huge jam here. Breaking ball downstairs. That count evens. BYU now five for 22 with runners in scoring position. Skied in the infield. Infield block. rifle, yes, in effect. For the second out. A chance to get out of this again for Texas. When things like this happen, when you're on the mound, it really is one pitch at a time, making that pitch. Big pitch to Chipper Beck was the curveball. To, to get, I mean, the perfect curveball to get him out, and that one right there. So now he's still going one pitch at a time here to Luke Her Anderson. Anderson two for three as he steps in. He's doubled, stole the base, scored. Breaking ball in there for a strike. BYU 0 for 6 tonight with two outs. And have left 12 runners on base. The 0 1. Outside corner, and it's quickly 0 2. Careful with the breaking ball right here. You got the momentum going. Make a good pitch. You just don't want to throw it in the dirt and let it get by Galvan. The 0 2. Get out of town. Bases loaded, nobody out. The ESPN app as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Rylan Galvan will step in and lead it off. First pitch in there for a strike. As Olsen out of the bullpen for BYU has set the tone. He has come in and filled up the strike zone. That's what he's done this season for the Cougars. Gave him multiple innings. He saw the numbers when he came in. Averaging up two innings of outing. Going a little further in this one so far. Yeah, he changes speeds. He moves around the mound. A lot of movement. He's got a good bender. Set to go here. The one two to Galvan. Sky to right. This ball will get back out of play. And it's one and two. Wilson set. The one two. Downstairs. John evens at two and two. Bottom third of the order. Galvan Brown Kennedy due for Texas. Missed outside, and it's a full count. With the changeup is 81, 82, and then drops down a little bit. That fastball 91 sneaks up on you. Came right back. With that slider, that's well, great bite to it. You can see the dimension. Such great view from behind home plate. As this ball not only comes in but goes down. It looks fastball. Looks fastball. Right here, and then bam. So Porter Brown steps in.
Nice ball chopped on the ground. Going to be a tough play. Brown can run. Nice play by Beck. Sets his feet. Gets rid of it in a hurry for the second out of the inning. Got to know your, if you're an infielder, Zeke, you got to know the speed of the hitter to know how you want to play balls. You can't with Porter Brown for one. You just can't look at the ball and try to pat your glove a couple of times. You got to get it, get rid of it. How about the night that D. Kennedy's had? He's been perfect. Three ribbies, scored a run, double. It's been outstanding. First pitch misses downstairs for ball one to Kennedy. In there for a strike, and you're right. When he he lets the fastball go, it, it touches 90. And it, you're looking off speed. This ball chopped on the ground. Beck sets his feet, throw across the diamond in time, and one, two, three goes Texas. Oklahoma still leads the league by one game, and Kansas has played one more series than they are, so they're two and a half games back, three down on the loss column. And this way, the top of the league, pretty sound. At this point, and the two things that jump off the page is Texas Tech five and seven, and TCU five and seven coming in. So the Plantier out for a second in the work. He'll be facing the two, three, and four spots in the lineup for the sixth time tonight. Six plate appearances for the top of the lineup here. It's Robinson step in. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks. Which misses outside. Also hit by a pitch. Started the game, a couple of strikeouts. Walk, hit by pitch, walk. Last three at bats. Cougars have had their leadoff batter reach base in every frame of the ball game. Pitch misses outside, and it's 2 and 2. I'll repeat that. Their leadoff hitter has reached base. At all eight plate appearances. Last five innings, the first two of the inning have reached base. Way upstairs and the full count again. The 3 2. Swing and a miss, got him. Leadoff hitter retired for the first time. And the high fastball. Swing right underneath it. Easton Jones will step in. One for four on the night. He has walked and scored. And singled. In there for a strike. Big swing and a miss on a slow breaking ball. It's quickly 0 2. Misses outside. One and two. Jones steps back in. Up and away. Count evens. This by much with that fast. A cutter from Gray. 30 pitches now to Duplantier as he comes set. Outside corner, strike three call. Fourth for DePlantier. Two outs here in the ninth. Fastball to Robinson, a little cutter right there. So they right on the corner to get Jones. Three in a row. Struck out by Dre. Truck out there in right field, fullest case. Running out of room. Pitch to Jones in there for a strike. Nice 
Actually, it's Reuter. Reuter Jones just struck out. Pitch misses outside. Reuter's three for five tonight, triple away from the cycle. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Got a, great, got a good feel. Curveball, yeah, hit Aloy in the back. Since then, stole some good curveballs. Cutter's been really good. Breaking ball misses way outside. That evens the count, just peeking ahead to the ninth. It will be the top of the order for Texas, dude. I think Olsen might stay in this game. There's a couple of few lefties up there. Swing and a miss, got him. DePlantier strikes out the side, his fifth since coming into the game. As he's walked twice, single. Get into a fielder's choice. First pitch in there for strike one. They'll throw it first pitch. Thinking Texas probably taking, taking a strike here in the ninth. Get it over at night. Probably see a steady diet. It's a changeup. So one and one to Thomas. Comes back. That, is that a, I think that's a little slider. A little slider. This is 83 to 85. Right in the middle at 84 for Cushion. So one and two to JT. Shipped on in the infield. Got him with a good breaking ball for the strikeout for the first out of the inning. That is his 20th strikeout in 11 and two thirds innings of work. Fills up the zone. Tough to pick up. Kept that away from Jared Thomas. Powell will step in. Powell, RBI single. One for four on the night. He's hit the ball hard though. Three times. Downstairs for ball one. Love to get the tying run to the plate here. Powell steps back in. On the other side, when you're pitching, Zeke, I'm going to go to your expertise. You're pitching with a two run lead. You're going to attack. If the guy hits it out, you still have the lead. Right. I mean, you got to throw your best pitch. His best pitch is a slider, but you know, taking a strike. Throw the fastball. Yeah, last thing you want to do is, is walk to bring the tying run up. Yeah, make them earn, make them earn it. Good slider there. Powell fouls it off, and it's one and two. Well, Powell happens to get on the guy on deck, likes the dramatics. Dylan Flores. 11 homers on the year for fours in the on deck circle. Set. Left side back out of play on the heater. So one and two. Two strikes. First time they've had Easton Jones out at the shortstop position from third base. Change up. Good swing. Fouled it straight back. Longhorns have seven come from behind victories this season. One out here, down two in the bottom of the ninth. Powell steps in. The one two. Breaking ball in there for the strikeout. Twelve innings of work now, twenty-one strikeouts. They just set down a couple pretty good hitters on consecutive strikeouts. Of so Texas down to their final out as Flores will step to the plate. Jalen 0 for 4 tonight. First pitch swinging, fouls it off for strike one. 
Struck out in the first, struck out in the seventh. It's popped to right and grounded to third. Took off six times. Set again. Pitch clock's violation. So the count goes to one and one. They got four pitches. And he shook six times. That'll make that clock run down a little bit. Mike. The 1-1. One, one. It's inside now, 2-1 and one to Flores. Max Ballou, also with 11 homers. Almost had 12 earlier tonight in the on-deck circle. The 2-1. Upstairs, and it's 3-1. Cushing has six walks on the year. 3 1 here. Skied in the infield, in foul territory. Right over to the edge. Couldn't make the play. Great effort to try to make the catch, but couldn't come up with it. How about Jones there leaning over in? A couple rows in. Okay. Complete all the way back. See the fan right there, but. Ball did hit the wall, so it is in foul territory, not on the field of play, so you can't rule fan interference on that. Very close. So the 3 2 to Flores. Way outside, ball four. So the Longhorns do get the tying run to the plate, and Max Ballou. It's all you. Could ask for here in the night. Try to get that tank run to the plate. Ballou on the night. Two for four. Floor is at first. Seven five ball game. This is to center. Gonna have to play it on the hop as Flores rounds second on his way to third. So the tying run at first and the winning run it coming to the plate. Third hit of the night for Max Ballou. Good go after that first one. Hit it good. Painter and center thought about coming to get it for a second, but wisely let it bounce in front of him. Keep that tying run at first. Two out. Nobody on rally for Texas trying to get this thing at least tied up here as Kimball Schusler will step in. Schusler, 0 for 1, came on as a pinch hitter in the seventh. Slider in there for a strike. So 0 and 1. Off at the end of the bat, up the first baseline. Can he tag Schusler? And that ends the game. And BYU comes to Austin.
Yeah, let's talk about success, but hold on tight Cause it ain't always sunshine, it ain't all bright There's a price to pay for reaching the top It's a journey of sacrifice, it's a road that don't stop From the early mornings to the late night grind Every moment counts, every step of the climb In the pursuit of dreams, we push through the pain But sometimes the cost is more than we gain The price of success, it ain't always clear it's the blood, sweat, and tears, it's the endless fear A failure looming close, the dreams turn to dust The price of success, it's a heavy trust In the glitz and glamour, the spotlight shines But behind the scenes, there's a different sign Of sleepless nights, and broken hearts Of sacrifices made, of tearing apart Friends left behind, and your family neglected In the pursuit of greatness, we're often affected By the loneliness of the climb, by the weight of the crown but still we press on, cause success is renewed Price of success, it ain't always clear It's the blood, sweat, and tears It's the endless fear of failure Looming close, the dreams turn to dust The price of success, it's a heavy trust The price of success, it doubt and trust So as we chase our dreams and reach for the stars Let's not forget who we are and what's truly ours For success is a journey but so is the cost And in the end it's not what we gain but what we've lost The price of success, it's a bitter pill But for those who dare to chase it, they always will For in the pursuit of greatness, we find our worth But let's never forget the price of our birth Introduction music, who we are, who we are who we are and what's truly us For success is a journey but so is the cost And in the end it's not what we gain but what we claw The price of success, it's a bitter pill But for those who dare to chase it, they always will For in the pursuit of greatness, we find our worth But let's never forget the price of our birth